Jack, you ever see those defensive people? Oh, oh man, yes. defensive. Today? Or oh, uh, <laughs> all the days. You know how much you love talking to defensive people. And sometimes yes, yes. whenever we're threatened, sometimes when we're insecure, we become those defensive people. What would you say to somebody who might need to work on their defensiveness? Well, I think the first thing is when you're defensive about something, that means that there's some sort of shred of truth. Um, most of the time, I like to say all the time, let me use universals here, but most of the time, um, if, if you're defensive about something, then you can probably look down deep inside and find at least a hint of truth. I mean, there's some sort of foundation of truth there. It might be over-exaggerated. It might be taken out of context. But I bet somebody just didn't make up something that you got defensive about. There's, uh, there is some defensiveness that is sparked from abusive people. Your narcissistic types, your borderline types sometimes can be abusive. But one thing that I've seen is whenever a person suffers that kind of abuse, uh, the abuse is coming. The, uh, the things that they're sparking defenses about is usually oddly perceptive. That's why it hurts so much. It's usually kind of start jabbing at those places that you're like, don't jab at that. And so asking the question, could this be true? Uh, is an important question. Um, and then another important question was, if it was, what should the response be? Very rarely do you do anything that's a conclusion of who you are as a person. Well, you do this. Uh, okay, am I a bad person? And if that's where you're going with it in your mind, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. I'd you're like, a bad person. No. Yeah. <laughs> you're a bad. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I think if you have goals too, you know, what's your goal? Um, if, if I get defensive about something, um, then immediately I can stop and say, okay, is my goal to defend myself here to... to to, to plead my case and, and make somebody believe that, no, 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 that's not, that's not what it is. Or is my goal to, to make this relationship better or make my situation better? Sometimes defensiveness actually doesn't help your, your cause. Remembering the goal, what is the win? And yes, you may be able to win a fight. I could knock someone senseless with a shield, but what I accomplish, what I wanted to accomplish is, that's, that's good stuff right there. Jack Smith is good uh, at, at counseling and so, uh, insight and awareness is something. Uh, what's going on inside of me? That's your insight. What's going, how's my effect on you? That's awareness. And those are indicative of a healthy person, of a person who's well balanced. And do you have that stuff? Uh, if you do, good. If you, uh, if you do, it can get better and it can be more. If you don't, um, you're going to have problems. And those are important things that will, uh, will, prop up your defensiveness. I can't imagine anybody wants to be defensive. No, that leads for a pretty miserable life. Yeah, that, and exhausting and <laughs> paranoid, and just all sorts of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, and so if you find yourself feeling defensive all the time, uh, that might be something to talk to somebody about. And that's what Jack does. It's also, and Kevin. I do that too. And we'd love to work with you.